is Ruby Rad's World of Dolls, and welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope that all is well, fantastic, and fabulous your way here in Ruby Rad's World of Dolls. We have some dresses that we, uh, we like to showcase and show you guys that we picked up from AliExpress. And I have two Barbies that I would like to unbox and share with you guys as well. I've been trying not to buy every single fashionista budget Barbie. Just trying not to buy as many Barbies as I have in the past. Because they end up in a container or they get put away and I don't do a lot with them. So I'm trying to pick ones that I am going to try to, you know, do something with. So I am doing better, but, you know, I'm not even going to go there. But I wanted to show these dresses to you guys because I picked them up from AliExpress and they were really cheap. And I picked the top three that I thought would, were the best for my taste, but they had a lot of them. Um, the reviews were really good on them. Um, they arrived today. I had forgot all about them. I went to pull my mail out the box and I had several packages in there. Um, I had something that I had ordered, um, something I had ordered from Alex, um, Amazon, not doll related. Um, none of the stuff that I pulled out the mailbox was doll related. Um, I had ordered something. I had ordered two or three different things. I had three packages that I pulled out that mailbox today. And um, so, but this was one of them. And I didn't even remember um, this was coming, you know. Because like I said, some, and this didn't take that long. Um, it didn't take as long as it took my other AliExpress packages. I will list the name of the store that I purchased these dresses from. But um, these dresses are available in many stores on AliExpress. I have said this to you guys before. You have to shop around for the best price. Some stores offer free shipping. The dress might be a few pennies more on one store, but they give you free shipping. So you have to shop around for your own value to get your best value. When I give you the store, it's just a, a pathway to the item but trust and believe sometimes that's not always the best deal but if you don't care about saving money then you know hey then it's no big deal but i like to shop for the best value um i can't remember how much i paid for these dresses i have my ipad on the charger right now i have two ipads and both of them are dead right now and they're both on the charger but i will list the store name so that you guys can look them up if you're interested in them. Um, but they were cheap. These dresses were less than um, $2, I think, a piece. I want to say because even with tax and all, I think I paid like $7 for all three of them. And I put them on two different body types so we could get an idea of what they look like on the dolls. They're very nicely made. I mean, for less than 2 bucks, come on. You, I mean, I couldn't sew this dress for that cheap. You know, with my time and all that's going to go in it, and the way my hands are, and my wrists, cutting out material and patterns, you know, just ain't in cards for me right now. I'd rather just buy them already done. But this is the black one, and it is that tooling and, um, like, lace um, all mixed up together. The bodice top, the bodice part is like a stretchy like lace. Um, you got the tooling as well for the straps. They Velcro in the back and I want to say they are nicely done with the Velcro because a lot of times when I purchase um, cheaper, well, that clothes of value. You know, I don't want to say cheap, but they are cheaper in price. But when I buy um, lower priced items, sometimes the Velcro and the seams and stuff are all over the place. But I am pretty impressed with the Velcro. The Velcro closure in the back. Um, this is what it looks like in the back here. You got a little sequencing here. And um, I'm really impressed. My girls get invited to a lot of nice um, formal um, invites on um, 
Instagram. So we like to have a variety of things in our wardrobe. And let's face it, Barbie doesn't sell outfits like this. So we have to either make them or we have to find somewhere else to purchase them. So I really like the black. I love how it's made here in the front. Again, like I said, you've got this layer of lace here. Then you've got the tooling and it's two layers. You've got one with the sequins here on it. Really pretty. And then you just got the the plain tooling here. So it's three, well, four layers. Is that two? That's one, two, three, and this one makes four. So there's four layers. Now you can see through it, but it's not that bad. You know, I mean, it's it's not that bad. I mean, you can easily find a way to fix that up with some kind of, you know, some kind of undergarment under there. But I think she's rocking it. This is one of the cheaper um, articulated bodies that I ordered on these. I got these dolls from Amazon. They were really cheap. The heads were really ugly. The hair quality was really bad. But I ended up using these bodies for donors for my fashionistas whenever I need a good match. Um, this is the new, um, the latest Kira Face Mold Fashionista. And it's like a really great match for her. So you have great articulation with these dolls. They don't have articulation at the ankle, but you know, that's fine with me. I don't care about art, um, ankle articulation. And I paired her back with these shoes. And I think she looks quite lovely in this dress. I really like it. And then here is the new yoga girl, the curvy girl, the redhead. And I really like this doll. I think she's very pretty. Um, so I thought I would take her out of that yoga outfit and try it on her. This is one of the dresses, and it looks really good on her. I like the fact that these dresses are um, vertile to the point, versatile, where I'm able to put them on different body types. Um, they're not snug fitting. It fits her very well, as you can see. Let's give it a spin around and then back to the front. She looks really good in it. Um, I like, um, again, the design and the color of it. It's very formal and how you dress it up. Put her back with silver um, jewelry and she's wearing a pair of black shoes. Um, her um, skirt of her dress is also tooling. Um, let's see how many layers it is. Hers is three layers as well. And I like how they got the pleats in the front. Like I said, again, I'm quite impressed with the price that I paid for these dresses. These dresses were like a dollar and set. They were less than two dollars a piece again. And it's very nice. Again, I'm loving the pleats. They go all the way around the dress. Um, again, um, the edging is not finished but it won't ravel. It's really nice. I really like it. I really, really like these little dresses. And again, I think it looks really good on her. Really good. The girls have to have some formal, um, some formal attire in their wardrobe. And then here is the red one. I put the red one on the mannequin because I thought that I could showcase it so much better here because I can spin it around here in my hand. But here is the red one. And the red one is made just like the one that the curvy girl had on, but it's just red. Again, I love how the pleating and everything is so even and the Velcro is even red. So you don't even see the Velcro because it is the same color as the dress, red. And again, I like it. Again, for less than two bucks, come on. I, I can't, what can I say? I love it. Again, I love it. So I love that red. And I love how it just, it's just how it flows. It's really, really pretty. So I just thought I'd share those with you guys. The girls were looking good at them. And I thought that I would um, go ahead and put them in this video. So let's see what Barbies I have gotten. So this is the Salon Stylist. And I wanted this doll so many times I passed her in my local Walmart. Every time I saw her, I said, nope, 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 not going to get it. I do not need another Barbie in my collection. Don't need to buy any more dolls and I'm going to have to rebody because, you know, <laughs> we know we have to rebody them. But I don't plan on rebodying her. I'm going to let her be the salon stylist. She has the bent arm and 
she'll just be in pictures and photos or you know whatever I decide to do with the salon part of my dolly universe but here is her packaging I love the artwork again on the Barbies now I just love it it's really really great um, then this is the back of her packaging. You've got a picture of her. It says, when a girl plays with Barbie, she imagines everything she can become. Salon stylists work with different hair types while using a variety of hair tools and products to achieve a desired style. Do you like staying on trend and rocking the latest hairstyle? You can be a salon stylist too. You know, my daughter is awesome at doing hair. And I always saw her as being a salon stylist. She chose a different path, but she is still good at it. You know, she's still great at it. So Barbie is 200 plus careers at the moment. You have other dolls here that are also in the career dolls. Um, you can be anything line. I have the boxer. I got the Rhythmic Gymnast. I got both of the Rhythmic Gymnast. I do not have the... The nurse. I want to say I think she's the nurse. I have the pop star. I have the shelf. I wanted to get this tennis player because she has a beautiful face, but I did not get her, and now she's not available in the stores. So, you know, I don't know. I might run across her later on, and I might pick her up. And um, I don't have the... I don't know if that's the doctor. She looks like she might be the curvy doctor. So let's get her out of the box. I've already kind of pulled that part open. So let's go ahead and slide her out. I like how they don't have them taped down in the box. I love her backdrop as well. I like that backdrop. But here she is. She is beautiful. She is one of my favorite face molds. I really like this doll. I like the, um, the big brown eyes on her. I love the lip color, and I do love her hair color. The hair color was a big deal for me. Let's see if we can't get this off. Because I did not bring my scissors. And I don't want to have to go get scissors. Because I didn't think I would need them for this video. And I just dropped one of her, I just dropped her blow dryer. So I'm going to have to get that. But her hair was what sold me on her. Now, she definitely has um, box hair, and she I have got to fix that. I mean, that hair is it's like it's glued down <laughs> to her forehead. I mean, it's gelled down, but it's nothing that can't be fixed. Now, the back of her hair has no product on it. It's really soft, um, really soft. Let's check out the rooting. Now, the rooting could have been a little bit better, could have been a lot better. I mean, you can see scab galore. I mean, so the rooting is not the best, okay? Not the best. And, you know, as some of you have stated in the comments, I love the color hair as well as you've stated, but as you, as everyone knows, the color hair is feels different. It doesn't have the same um, feel and um, quality as the regular um, colors of doll hair but you know it's the price we pay so she comes with two tools let me get her blow dryer I gotta find it here all right so she comes with this let me see if I can stand her here she comes with the blow dryer and it looks just like a blow dryer all detail with the little handle there for her to hold this is what it looks like on this side and that side and this is that side and then she comes with this um, comb well brush you hear me say comb with a brush there I'm not gonna take it off right now I'm gonna leave that one on her blow dryer I wasn't gonna take off either but I'll try to put that back on but then let's take a look and she is the basic five points of articulation we already know that but this is her work gear this is her apron that is made onto the dress. It's all one piece that Velcros in the back. The dress is white in the back and the apron is in the front. And they have everything printed on. 
and you know she's got her combs and her brushes and different things and it's all painted on and they paired her back with these platform high top sneakers so you know she's she's very pretty and again like I said I like the face mold which is one of the reasons why I went ahead and bought her and because I liked her hair color and because I do collect the um you can be anything dolls and I you know I didn't want to pass her up and you know they only had a few of her left and you know stuff is going to start selling and I just hate regretting there are so many dolls that I didn't purchase that I ended up regretting later on not getting so that's why I went ahead and I got her all right so up next I picked her up today this is the budget I call them basic Barbies there some people call them budget Barbies but this is the latest version of the budget basic whichever ones you want to call it here is the beautiful artwork on the packaging this is one of my favorite face molds this was the fashionista face mold of the one that we got with the big fro I put her on a curvy a collectible curvy body and she looks fabulous this is the back of the packaging and then here is the other girls that are available the family dollar only had the um one that i purchased here they did not have the other two but if i can find the other two i definitely like to get them because i do collect these um budget dolls i just like collecting them i just think they're fun to collect she was only five dollars now normally when i find these budget basic dolls at family dollar and dollar general they're kind of like eight and ten bucks but for some reason she was only five dollars so that's great because they're supposed to be budget dolls so without further ado let me go ahead and oops take her out of the packaging my poor girl all right she's free from the packaging and here is that beautiful face they had uh, several of her and i looked through every single one until i picked the one that I thought was perfect for me <laughs> and this was her um, some of them had lighter lip color than the others and I like this lip color because I like the fact that it's the same color as her dress and her dress I love this dress that they gave the budget basic dolls this year she has long hair and again, this is one of my favorite face molds and five dollars is nothing to spend on a budget doll budget Barbie especially when they have a beautiful face and they have um, a very cute dress on so loving the big beautiful brown eyes I love that lilac like lip color I'm loving her straight the long straight hair that comes back to here below her waist I'm digging the center part there again each doll's part was a little bit different. I tried to pick the one that I thought was best for me. And I love her dress. Check out this dress. Okay, we know it Velcro's here in the back. And the Velcro go all, goes all the way down to here where my finger stops. And I just love the print. And I just love the design. Purple is one of my favorite colors. It, red and purple are my two favorites. You know, they're like equal when it comes to favorites in my world like the big bow here on the top of the shoulder i like the off sleeve look no sleeve look they gave her an accessory she has on a silver watch there and they paired her back with these silver high heel pumps and i really like her again i am a big fan of these budget basic dolls i don't think she's gonna stand here on her box I think her box where well, she is I really like the budget dolls and again I hope that I'm able to find um the other two in this um wave because I am a collector of the budget dolls I just like collecting them I have um I have a special container that I keep them in and I just like going back looking at them you know I love the beautiful face molds and I like the little outfits that they give them and sometimes I borrow the outfits and um, put them on other dolls. But I end up putting them back on them and putting them up. But again, she's one of my favorite um, 
favorite face molds. I really like her a lot. She's one of my favorites. I've seen her in different skin tones. And again, my favorite one was her when she was the fashionista with the Afro. Can never remember the numbers. Some of you guys know every number. I don't. I wish I could keep up with them, but I don't. Guys, that concludes this video. I just wanted to share with the share these dresses with you guys. And then I definitely wanted to share that um that budget basic Barbie that I picked up at my family dollar. I have not found these dolls anywhere. Um there are several family dollars that um that I can shop at around me. And this family dollar that I would the one that I least suspected to have her had her you know i didn't expect that when i go by that one all the time and i never stop and then today i something just draw me there and, and it was because she was there don't know why they didn't have the other ones but maybe they'll get them in or maybe i'll find them at another family dollar so if you love the basic dolls it's time to start checking out your family dollars because you know they're popping up at the family dollars guys Thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed this quick little video. Hope I didn't ramble on too much. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to check me out on Instagram. I am Ruby Rad's World of Dolls there. Continue being awesome, fantastic, and fabulous. And I will see you awesome, amazing people in my next video. I feel good.